Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to install Apple's newest operating system. That is called the Tahoe. Apple announced this a couple of days ago in their conference, and it has a lot of cool features that we want to take a look at. And one of the things we like to do in this channel is to try to look ahead of tech before it becomes mainstream. This is still not going to be in mainstream until September. We're going to take a look at it and see what we can find out, what we can learn. So without further ado, I'm going to switch to my other MacBook and I'll go ahead and show you what we got. So here's a MacBook I have and you can see I'm already logged into it. This is running M1 Pro, 32 gig of specs of memory. So we're going to try to install it. And this is something where I got the installer from, Mr. Macintosh. Thank you. And I need to give him the credit he deserves. He's the one that compiled this together for us. And you can read more information about it. But ultimately, what we're looking to get is this uh, installer beta edition. So we're going to get the beta edition, install it, see how it does. Now, let me give you a couple of disclaimers. Do not do this if you're going to use this on your main device. This is not my main device. So I'm doing this on my secondary device. And back up your data. If you lose your data because you're trying to do something like this, it will be your own fault, all 100% of your fault. So be careful on that. And ultimately, you do not try beta services unless you're willing to deal with errors and perfect and perfection and i'm ready to deal with all those things so that's why i'm going to do it but if you're not ready to do all those flaws then wait for the real thing on september now let's get started so i already downloaded this you have to click here to download it i already did let's double click the installer and we'll see here first we're going to hit continue and then it tells you we have to have at least 49 megabyte in, in on us computer space which we have that no problem hit install we're going to use our password so it's going to register the computer for update component. So this one should make our computer where it can receive the beta services. Hit close. We did that. Now where did it go? That's what we need to find out. So if you look at the article over here, it will tell you that we, it's going to basically go to install the Mac OS, download it. Once install it, you're going to do the install. It's going to put an application folder. This change was made with the app revised installer with Big Sur. So we're going to take a look at application folder and see what we can find. So here's our application folder. Let's make this full screen. All right, let's see what we can find out here. Do we see anything here? So far, I got a bunch of applications, but I don't see anything that will tend to what we're trying to do. So let's come take a look slowly. Here it is. You can see over here, it says install Mac OS beta. So we're going to hit install, double click to install that. So we're going to double click. It says, do you want to install Mac OS beta? You sure? Yes, we are. So we continue. We're going to agree with the terms and condition. That's pretty much hey, what you got to do with anything beta. You're taking a risk. It, I agree. We're going to install it in the main HDD, like main hard drive. We're going to hit continue. It says power source is not connected. So let's get a power source connected. Then we'll come back. Bear with me a second. Now, so I got power source over here now. Let's try to connect it. I just need to plug something. I got to go over this thing, and then we'll plug this in somewhere over there. Awesome. So we got our power source connected. Now we're going to need to supply our credential. Then we are ready. This is our final commitment that we're going to do this. It says one hour. So I'm not sure if we have one hour storage space for this, but we'll definitely wait and see how long it takes. We're going to try to pause the video, do what we need to do to get you the unfiltered experience. Keep in mind to save some time on the video. We're going to fast forward and do what we need to do to make it happen. So I'll see you soon. While it's recording this, I'll go ahead, I'll pray, and I'll be back. We'll try again the Tahoe installation on the application. See if this time it will do it because that did not go right. I just clicked it on again and I'm waiting to see what it's going to try to do. This is something you expect if you're doing a beta version or anything. You don't know when it's going to actually work out. So you're just going to have to keep trying it. So it looks like we're going to have to do the same thing again. I thought we did this already, but it did not work the first time. So again, we're going to wait. This time, maybe it's, once it's done, we're going to get a different result. So let's come back again. All right. So now we're going to reboot. So it finally has come the time to reboot this thing. And let's see if it's going to do better this time. So it's rebooting right now. We'll see what it's going to do. I'm not sure what the installation behavior will be like, but we're going to try. 
This is the second attempt we made to do this, so we shall see. Saying no signal, so it's not doing anything right now, it's just black screen. It looks like it's coming back on main screen, but it doesn't detect the cam link yet. To be honest with you, I haven't actually done a whole lot of research on what new things this beta version can bring. But I'm just to try the new glass screen, whatever Apple is calling it now. And seeing if that actually is going to be interesting. And I want to see the performance on this M1 chip. It reboots again, so this is the third time it did reboot. It still hasn't connected to the display yet. The cam display, the Elgato cam link. You can see now it's connecting to it. So this could take a lot, little bit. It's moving so slow. The fourth reboot so far. But this time it's moving a bit faster. It's almost looked like it's a reboot loop, but it's not. So it's got a percentage thing. So it's 91% complete now. So I guess it's trying to convert my regular desktop to a glass desktop. So that's why it's taking this long. As you can see it now, we got eight minutes left. We have to wait eight minutes, then we should be ready according to this timer. All right, guys, the installation is done. It's finally ready. You can see nice Tahoe screen. So we're going to log in right now and see what it looks like. So let's log in with our credential. But in the initial impression, it looks like Windows 11. But let's go ahead and continue. Let's continue with everything else. Ooh, I love that liquid glass. Look at that. It is amazing look and feel. But let's continue here. It says welcome. Oof, nice. That is pretty nice. I just like it. I know it's just the wallpaper we're looking at right now, but it is looking like a pretty promising indeed. So now I don't even know how to use this thing because it is all beta. But if you look at about Mac right now, we should see that it is Mac M1 Tahoe. We got the Tahoe right now. You can see over here. We're no longer, we're doing the Tahoe beta edition. So we got it. We got it working, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you have a spare Mac that you can afford to, I guess you can afford to try this. If you don't have it, then I would say think before you do it because of the beta. But it is exciting. Uh, I do have a lot of errors showing up, which is like, nah, that's fine. It's okay. Now, I don't even know all the features. So I'm going to have to learn about some of this because I actually haven't fully watched the Apple conference yet. But there is uh, productivity preview and stuff. So this is, I guess, their new preview stuff. So I'm going to see if some of my apps works. Let's just try AppCut. Does it work? It looks like it works. So nothing changed. That's awesome. I still got everything working. Let's go to my edge. Let me see if it's going to load for me with all my profile stuff. So now you can see over here and we can go ahead. So that's perfect. So good. We got everything we want it. Let me read about some of the Mac. Oh, what is that? That is interesting. So I have my screen set to duplicate. So let me go ahead to display or display. Let's type in display. Let's change the display settings instead of a, we're going to need to mirror the display. It looks like it's, it's already mirrored. Mirror to cam link, main display optimized for cam link. So nothing is actually extended, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about. I'm going to have to make another video of doing all the what's new about Tahoe or how to use Mac OS Tahoe. All right, let's just go to Google. This is the screen. It looks good. Trying to see if there's anything stand out for us so far. All I see is a nice UI design. But then again, I'm not familiar with this. It's a search. So let's do this. Let me try that. Send an email. Hi. Hold on. Let's do this. Send an email. That works. So you can send the recipient to me. But this one would work with uh, native apps. And I don't have that. The subject is going to be testing. How about the send a message? So that's cool. Auto effect tool. That's all I have, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, peace.